This one, I really truly marvel at the greatness of the gift at a young woman for this. Nina, do you want to quite a bit of a young man? Because truly today, I, you know, when we are given an opportunity to walk a mile in a street, wearing a shoes, or guy, you know, you know, we truly learn to appreciate. And those who are some writers like me, would know that it does not come cheap. The ability to pen down compositions of this nature and of this level. Pastor Gordon Yaze, once again, ladies and gentlemen. Oma kwe kwe ta amakana. As the sea trembles in Ubangoma Kade. God, what they are to see, Tetar, City Fangelian, Bilengabo, Inyak. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as we welcome on stage the Joy Bells. Joy Bell's Quartet is a mistake on the next rendition of the day. But we get a bit of the Wabo, but we get a bit of the Wabo, but we get a bit of So I'd like to welcome you. You might have been joining us via Facebook. You know, we get a bit of the Tanjan and Kelly today. We'll be reading some of your messages and some of your comments. Joy Bell's Quartet. Over the years, your sneaker, one day, the old moon or Utulo or Sunday, a Yabasu corner or a city city but the next generations are able to take a pattern from which they'll be able to get the final layer on UPR for the final Utanga to a corner if you are to depict an advertisement again there at the final layer. And this old joke in the old by technology, I'm a fan of a little bit. But seemingly, the darker the hair, uh, the closer to technological advancement you will be. That's my name, Bukhek, I'm a fan of a little bit. I'm a fan of a little bit. I'm a fan of a All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, please put your hands together for the Joy Bells Contest.
not only here to contact you, but we are also here to, to celebrate um Benzi or Wenzelay. Friends, I also bring uh, greetings from the Cape Conference administration um, under the leadership of Dr. Papu um, and the Cape Conference directors who have worked uh, side by side with you in Funis Uyazi and the Julissa in the Bulliso and the Yales of Esubaku. Unfortunately, we could not all come down here and be and then be with you and celebrate this day um, in style. Like I said, this is a beautiful day and we thank God for the Mumbai for this. And when we say we thank God, we're not just saying simply because it's a Monday, but we, we will always thank God for you, uh, for the things you have done and also for your life. I stand here today, friends, representing the Cape Conference family, the Cape Conference Music Department, which I'm leading, and also the Cape Conference Children's Ministries Department from this year. You will know why I'm mentioning this department in particular, which is under the leadership of Mrs. Papa. And uh, I stand here to to thank and to also appreciate you from this for the fair services which we have rendered uh, for the for the Cape Conference. I still remember when I had to sit in and think how do I bring back the glory of the Cape Conference music um, in our Cape Conference music festivals. And uh, by God's grace, Udo Kala O Africa and and, um, and I shared with you the dream of bringing back the Cape Conference Music Festivals and, uh, and look at where we are, having worked with you. Um, so at a time when you were supposed to take a back seat and enjoy your retirement, we, we called you many a times to come train local church leaders on music, we called you to compose songs for the Cape Conference mass choirs and children's mass choirs. And we even called you to lead and conduct those mass choirs. Um, and not a single day when you turned us down. When you asked us to compose, when we asked you to compose songs for us, you never turned us down. You were always available without any payment. Without any demand for them, you know, these days people, you ask them and they, they ask what are you going to do for me from this. But you've always been willing to, to assist in developing music in our Cape Conference territory. You are a friend to the Cape Conference from this. And uh, we are here to fortify that friendship and also that relationship. And that's why I'm standing here. And someone says by the name of Christ Johnston, saying thank you or offering other words of appreciation along with sincere compliments and other grateful or kind words. These are the best way, the best ways to fortify relationships. So as we develop greater appreciation and affection for words that heal, bless, and also cheer, we will develop an even greater disdain for words that damage, desperate, and disrupt. Ucho or Robert Patton. As we will learn, our daughter is in the needs. From this, city poor,
Mwanga pagati, mwafika kukwende na ganani Mwanga Yes, it's your pompondis Sisuka from the bottom of our hearts is the Cape Conference Cape Conference Siti kuwe, go and enjoy yourself No mwanga, awadwa na bako Go and enjoy yourself Pompondis, I'm going to hand this over to you right now Mwanga, that's when Mpondis, I'm going to hand this over to you right now what is that? If he can do this. I is that so much um, a, a career that was our job was in our uh, was in our which were a service who was naked women ya got in the last two me I'm a tanda to an start walk about and still counting it is not something that you usually find but means you have a cow laser if they do not get the kind of honor which they believe it is befitting the kind of gift of an eye. But we have Umfundis who is here today celebrating with us a city I might have contributed through the years in this manner, but it was all for the glory of God. The Funda Jays then be misdentered to because the international audience, the Funda Naizi, the Ukubai Samkeleki, the Ukubai De Wunyanati, and the Mina Ramshanji. We do have a band who, um, all right, Maskali KZN. I saw a message from KZN, and Wunuza Nabs Mahadi, a city, and I'm watching all the way from KZN. What a day! What a day, and she repeats again, what a day. Uti uandi oma komle. I remember Umfundisi as a CC Youth Director, CC Pathfinders, between 1992 and 1993. There's another thing that is beautiful about today. We're able to go down memory lane with Umfundisi and sing Abanyo Abanyo, we're able to say what is it, uh, in which manner, he has been able to impact our lives. And this overdue music book launch is a fitting tribute to this humble music giant, Pastor G.B. said, God bless him always. Keep them coming, okay? Someone is just full of them. On stage right now, you reach out, Cortet. Over to you, Richard Cortet. <laughs> In the world so dark and dreary, where eternal dreams show, Jesus died to save the sinners. Reach out to see the 
beautiful rendition by the Reach Out Quartet, giving us an item which is entitled Reach Out. Moving on with today's program, we are now going to have Glad Hope which is entitled Oh Yes Miliwa. Those who are joining us right now would like to welcome you in a very special way to give you a special broadcast from uh, the Bafala City Metropolitan Municipality uh, in East London specifically. Nalapu Garamina Namsanje. Se Tula Muxesi Kweni, a compilation of Ingoma. Is they come from Suyaze. And so far, we have received music from Advent 4, Imago Dei, uh, Essen Belegen, Joy, Bells Quartet, Safumana, also uh, a message from Upasta Pomela, Ukadgeyena, and Melegi Cape Conference. Still coming on today's program, uh, Ukaya Nuru will be gracing us with his presence on stage as we know that he was very instrumental in the compilation of these songs. And when four will come back again, we've got to get pipe, good evening, Pastor uh, Dr. Otin Mabisa will be giving us the keynote address for the day. On stage right now is Glad Hope. Let's talk about it this afternoon. Only that when that is accompanied, 
by a beautiful little gisky deed. And when you are able to listen to this, you are not finding yourself taken up by the beauty of what happens emotionally over what happens, the ability to comprehend the message itself. It is a typical and a true depiction of what Adventism has always been over the years. And I think for that beautiful rendition, we ought to put our hands together yeah. once again. Yeah. Right now, we're going to get a beautiful rendition from Utada M. Benenge. It is when I was lost. Oh. Oh, right now is at Yena. I got a sneak on over. They put me in Yana area on. Yena was a sneak at a presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, please let's welcome on stage about Benek. May you all be greeted on this day of our Lord whereupon we converge to give praise to the Almighty for the good things he has done for us. We have come to acknowledge that another of his creatures, Pastor Jibiaze, has purposed not to hoard his talent, but instead to hone it and avail it to all of us for the glory of God. Now the songs presented today are only a tip of the iceberg. If one were to compare the number of the songs presented to those embodied in the songbook, which is going to be, uh, which is being launched this afternoon. Maybe I should caution and say the songs are not the preserve of the Advent Fourth. The Joy Bells Quartet, Imago Day, Glad Hope, and for that matter, Kaya Osipo. Not all formations that have sung these songs could attend this occasion. I'm referring to groups like Joyful Brothers Quartet. I'm referring to the real Reach Out for Life Quartet, <laughs> to mention but a few. Circumstances did not permit of all the groups attending and presenting this afternoon. Now the songbook itself embodies 40 items, I mean four zero, I don't say one four or four, I'm saying four zero. For church, for church worship and family worship, for quartets, trios and solos. Jimmy's compositions are simple, yet melodious and harmonious. If you scrutinize them, you'll find that they encapsulate a very profound message, a message of hope that uplifts the soul. Had it not been for the fact that the sun has not set, what I'm going to say now would have been articulated differently. Allow me to say, had it been after sunset, I would be saying to you, each booklet will cost 150 rand. <laughs> and I know, had it not been for the fact that it's Sabbath today, you would really purchase the book. <laughs> Now the book will be sold after this presentation, after, after we shall have filed out of here. But I want to mention just one important thing. The, the culture of us making copies and photocopying and avoiding to buy books produced by some of our numbers. It's not good, it's not a good practice. I encourage you, when the fullness of time comes to purchase 
this book. This is compiled to ensure that all compositions by Pascal Yaze thus far are embodied in a booklet. And at this point in time, allow me to present the master copy of the songbook to Gah. Yeah. Something that I think most of us 
we definitely, definitely marvel at. And he was very instrumental. I went to all around from this part of it. Oti, let us let them and eat. God alone, folk and no more. Ute, our born. In fact, can you would understand that in his days, we had before, they also, let us do him as young from this. He saw value in this enough to say, let's make sure that future generations will be able to find refuge and find strength and revival in the in the compositions that come from this. Right now, let's put our hands together as we welcome Okaya no no Oza to us in over to you, man. Yes, I 
song, Elizwe Elihe. From this Ubuntu, I It does not happen every day. Consistency. I guess I'm probably in the Zanke for this. One of the questions that Ben Kenna Buzas on in an interview that you will find on YouTube post, the event in Amsaji, or you will find a full hour, in a one-on-one on Fundi, says, I'm Fumani Sido Yoba, I um Fundi Si, Ndozi, the Ebes Tata, as pillars of any song composition. Ebe Kalandoni, Ebe Tondo Baki. And one of the things, as yes, we know for this night on Fundis, though we started by transcribing Amatu, Abanyaband, especially quartets like uh, uh, the King's Heralds, Abanyaband, uh, Bebekula from around the world, and truly embodied what the feel, the mood, and style as prescribed by Adventism. But also, he allowed Ums Goba Uti, I did not use the keyboard to write these songs. I allowed the experience Uba Isuge Eruzwane Kakai. And my system, because it is fully loaded with the principles prior writing, was able to reject anything because Kulula was for some writers to get carried away. But because the principles were fully loaded in him, he was able to reject anything that would speak or that would give a projection that is not befitting to the principles at again. And today we are able to listen to Ulwandile Olunje song after song you get to appreciate that whatever that he had accepted it is imperative that it be deposited to future generations so that so that you don't have to tell anyone of what is right and what is wrong because it is fully embodied in a paradigm way. And because of what was deposited, we on food is today we are able to experience this. I'm in for you ready right now to give us our next item.
Imago Day, and uh, that will be followed by a joy quartet. As of Pim Sela and Vini, what a good beat in a certain very bad of Bob. Was a song and went down in the house, put up on a single the keynote address befitting for a day a final day. They are ready, ladies and gentlemen. Please put your hands together for the marker. Uh, 
I have numbers that you can call so that you are able to get the book post this event. But right now, as we are ready to usher Dr. Otin Lisa Basquabele, enjoy those contacts. Thank you. 